And now I have the pleasure of introducing you to someone who writes a blog that we read here at the Delaware Way all the time. Her name is Nancy Willing, and her blog is named The Delaware Way. And I will say you were first. <laughs> uh, and so we do have permission to just borrow the name Absolutely. for this it's, show. It's, I appreciate that. It's yours, and this is your media. You know, I think it's so important what you do because, uh, and you tell me if you agree, I think Delaware is underserved by Philadelphia and by Baltimore, and because it's, it's underserved by those two TV markets, mm -hmm. um, politicians sometimes go unchecked. And it's very important that there are people, and, and especially citizens, that are, that are taking to the media and taking upon themselves to blog like you do and keeping them in check. Uh, do you feel that power, and have, have the citizenry of Delaware responded to you? Um, I, yeah, actually, I've, it's uh, kind of fun to have seen my numbers. I'm going to go look at them in depth, but uh, I get an uh, average of a couple thousand what they call hits a day. So I haven't really looked to see how that translates. But uh, I was also the recent Reader's Choice finalist for the News Journal, and that's un without me recruiting or even voting for myself because I didn't know what was going on. So uh, I think I do have a, a pretty big readership, and um, I have a lot of fans. But it, it is because we we have a gap. We have a gap in re in reporting the news. The, the, Print media is, is suffers, you know, from their cutbacks, uh, and so uh, I just it's a it's something that it, it, I enjoy. The it's a voluntary thing that uh, keeps me busy and uh, keeps me out of trouble. Um, but they're it's so important. I mean, you are in the forefront. There are there are other states where the the bloggers are have become more important. Yeah. Uh, the new media has become more important than the traditional media. Like in Alaska, for instance, mm -hmm. they they have a very vibrant blogging system, and and so I really do appreciate what you do. Recently, of the things you've written about, I know you said during the political season it goes yeah. from 2,000 sometimes to 10,000 yeah. readers a mm -hmm. day. Recently, what has been some of the most important things you've written about and, and got the most response from readers? You never know. It, it could be, it's just, it comes and goes in, in something that's probably unpredictable. Sometimes, usually something that, that I'm bouncing off of the news journal. Uh, I remember one of the big ones with the, with the Rockwood story where there was some, some fussing around with. Uh, uh, Rockwood and the county employees, you know, that got a, a whole lot of attention. How about the Chip Flower stuff? Uh, Chip Flower is uh, probably nothing out of the ordinary, um, but I, I know, a lot of the times I'll know uh, some of the, the players and individuals, so I'll hear some of the backstories, and sometimes I can't really speak to them directly um, uh, through confidences, but uh, because, I, because I, I would have a clear idea that maybe they're getting shafted by the traditional news, that I could offer some relief. And I do. I did support him in the election. I supported several of the underdogs, I guess you would say. So. Chip Flowers, for people that may not know, is the state treasurer in Delaware. And uh, he was running for re-election. And some stuff came out about um, uh, alleged improprieties between him and a, a staffer. And for that reason, nothing was proven, don't. <laughs> and for that reason, uh, he bowed out of the race. Do you think he was taken out? Um, I do. I think it was deftly uh, done, but I, I think that he was challenging the powers that be in, in, in investments and who had the privilege to take what money where. And that's, that's a key point. When you look at the money trail, I mean, I know you had Chip and the governor on, and the governor was pretty uh, stone-faced stone about, uh, you did a good job with him. Uh, but, I, but at the end of the day, uh, Mr. Um, that these Democrats, um, um, Governor Mark Hill in particular, were getting quite a lot of money funneled through something, uh, an organization that Chip was challenging, that, that particular council. So you think the governor was behind taking him out? Um, yeah, I do. I really do. I, that's my feeling that uh, the, for one thing, there does seem to be a subset of, of Democratic challengers that aren't in the, in the in crowd. And the in crowd, look, they're all, they're all pretty much feel like they're entitled to these jobs. And you know, I'd like Matt Den personally, but come on, you know, you're going to rotate from, you know, this job to this job to this job. Uh, is there no more talent? Is that our talent? Is that our bench, really? Delaware has always been seen as a corporation state, mm -hmm. a state that's friendly to corporations, and because of that, uh, much of the money that comes into the state budget comes from the fees and the mm -hmm. taxes that those corporations have to pay. A and slowly, some of those corporations are leaving. Mm -hmm. Is that a concern to you? Do you see that turning around? And if not, how does Delaware, what does Delaware do? Well, the one thing that uh, you could, could say about that is that we have the, well, probably the finest court system in the land. You know, that, that that's one of the reasons why 
Uh, and I did like that, you know, you got into that with uh, Kowalka last weekend. But uh, the, uh, the, the idea that Pete Stupin and, and at that era put, in the, put us in as a financial center, I don't see that going away anytime soon. I mean, they're, they're, they're tipping away at it potentially, but uh, what does bother me about that is that uh, because of the strong corporation centers here, is that our national politicians tend to be very centrist and so maybe betray democratic ideals by, uh, but we can understand they have to be forgiven for you know backing the banking because that is our central industry. So a little bit of a conflict there. If you want to, you know, say um, if you want to go after the banks, uh, you know, when they do wrong, um, or you're going after state. the state economy. When you go yes. after the banks, you end up going after the state economy. When you go after the insurance companies, you're going after the state economy. So mm -hmm. I, yeah, I understand. That's, 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 that's a great a tough point. One. It is a tough one. But we do have to find other streams of revenue and, and other ways to reduce our spending. And I'm hoping that the Republicans can have a bigger place at the table because it is problematic to have the one party in control of everything. It's well, you, you have a Democratic blogger hoping the Republicans have more <laughs> of a voice. That is the Delaware way, the name of your blog. Nancy, thank you so much for coming in. Very it was much. a pleasure to meet you. I read your blog all the Thanks time. Thanks so much, Larry. The Delaware way is the blog, one of the favorites in the news journal. Check it out. We'll be back after this. <laughs>